I'm Dalton Gaithel. I am the craftsman for Merrimack Canoes. I do all the woodworking and finishing on all the canoes that come out. It includes making all of the seats, handles, yokes, brass, every little, every little thing that's wooden on there is basically me. When a boat comes out of the paint room, it'll basically just be the shape of a canoe. No seats or anything. Uh, it'll, it will have the ribs in there, so that's not my part. I just make those ribs. But then I put the gunnels and the deck plates on. After those are all secured, we put in the seats and the yoke and the handles. Um, and then it's basically sanding it and making it look good and then oiling it and putting the stickers on. I'm Josh uh, Data. I work in the wood shop for Sanborn. I'm kind of the uh, prepper. I will usually work on artisans. I'll be planing them down and then tracing the outline on them, cutting out the outline, carving them on the band saws, and I've just started doing a little bit of planing to get them ready for final shaping, which is done by Mark usually. I'm Mark Boyson, and I uh, am the CFO, uh, Chief Financial Officer here at Sanborn and Merrimack Canoe. I do a lot of cutting out on band saws, and then I shape and finish uh, sanding all of the paddles. My name is Patrick Thomas. I'm the head painter finisher at uh, Sanborn Canoe Company. I interface a lot with the, the woodworkers um, in the front desk as well to really get clear communication on what a customer would like and then implementing the kind of designs and artwork that uh, the customer want on their paddles. Primarily it's for the painted paddles. Uh, some of the wilderness paddles we do paint, uh, but not a lot of them. I'm Nate Gill. I, my role here is mostly shaping, cutting out all of the wilderness, the unpainted paddles that we make here. I'll take them and cut out their basic shape on the bandsaw, start carving out the grips, carve out the blade, and eventually sand them down, finish them up, and get them out of here. Working for a smaller company has its own stresses, just like working for a big company. Uh, I've worked for both and certain things are more relaxed. We can just end on uh, Friday and leave early and go out on the river. And uh, working for a bigger company, you don't always get that flexibility, but big companies also have processes and things already set up. And so you don't have to create everything new like you do at a small company. I would say it's more personable. People are a lot more approachable, it seems like, and willing to work with you on the schedule and when you can be in, when you can't. I think the biggest difference that I can tell working for a small company versus a large company is the business culture. You can have good business culture in, in both, but the ability to really know the people that you're working with and working for is, is a lot easier for a small company than a big one. I've honestly only worked for local businesses all of my life. I love getting to know everybody involved in the business. I love that my boss is somebody that I'd happily go out for a beer with. I really like how tight-knit it is here and how open to any ideas that you have. If you have the idea, as long as you have the initiative to fulfill that idea, they'll tell you to run with it. And if it works, great, you know. And if it doesn't, well, we go back to the drawing board. What led me to work here, I love to create. I also love to be a part of people's adventures and, and the ability to connect. My history uh, professionally is in the restaurant world, I have a culinary degree, and I loved the aspect of creating something, crafting something that would connect people with the people that they're with. You craft a, a paddle when you're, when you're out on the water, when you're doing that, you're, you're connecting with nature, you're connecting with those you're with, and it's just really cool to be a, a part of that time that you know people are gonna really experience fullness in some way. I love it here because I'm doing things that I do for fun anyway. It's stuff that I've spent hundreds of dollars setting up a wood shop at home uh, to make exactly the same kind of things that I'm making here. 
I enjoy working with my friends and family. We have a great group of people that are committed to the company and uh, everyone's just very dedicated. I'm doing a lot of the same stuff over and over, but it's all just a little bit different. I like finding how the wood's gonna express itself, you know, all the cool grain patterns that'll come out when you cut it. And it's a little bit of problem solving, and at the end of the day, I go home exhausted and covered in sawdust, and I love it. I really think that everything that I've learned from uh, the different jobs and the schooling that I've had has contributed in many different ways to this position and in ways that I didn't realize would be beneficial. It's been really, really interesting to see just how my different experiences and schooling has benefited this company and, and my coworkers in so many different ways. I think those who are unsure about what kind of career path they should take next, there's no real wrong answer if you're willing to learn from everything you're doing. Well, there's the old saying, do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. You know, you carve a dozen paddles in a day, your hands definitely feel like you've been working, but it's just so much fun. You know, I, I'm so glad to do something that I enjoy. Thank you.